Hey guys, Thermal here. I hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Marksman Hunter Legendaries. This is in response on my previous video I did uh, where Maladin said, nice video and good guy for beginners. Please next video for best legendaries for MM Hunter. Thanks so much. So I've just put together this Excel spreadsheet going over all the legendaries and Marksman in particular. I do have some basic uh, legendary information for anyone who's interested in that and then a bit of a deeper dive into marksman specific legendaries so i've used three different sources over gear wowhead and icy veins for this guide in particular and that's where i've gotten my information from and then i just did some basic calculations to work out which legendaries i personally think will be the best performing so to start it off how to create a legendary you will need a base item of the appropriate level and slot type so you can see these are made via professions, tailoring, blacksmithing, leatherworking. Um, so we've got for us as hunters, we need mail. And depending on what type of legendary you're going to be using, you will have a different slot that it can go into. So the second thing you need is two stat scrolls. So either missive of haste, um, missive of mastery, uh, missive of critical strike or missive of versatility and this is made via the inscription profession so you can purchase that off of the auction house as well uh, the third thing you need is soul ash and you get this from torgast so for the rank one legendaries which is going to be item level 195 we need 1250 2000 for the rank two with an item level of 210 3200 with for the rank three item level 225 and then 5150 for rank four item level 235 and then from there you need the memory of the rune carver legendary recipe for a legendary power that matches the slot type of the base item so in game this is the rune carver here and you will bring for example this isn't a legendary this is a conduit but you'd uh, right click it when you're near the rune carver and you'll then learn that legendary spell and then with that you're then able to combine these these four things together to make your legendary item at the appropriate item level depending on how much soul ash you have okay so going into mm hunter in uh, the specifics of it and which ones I think are going to be the best. I think I put rank one as Serpent Stalker's Trickery, which basically aim shot allows, uh, also fires a Serpent Sting at the primary target, and this can go on a shoulder slot or a finger slot. The dungeon drop is Plague Fall. Um, so you can see Plague Fall, Dominus, Venom Blade drops the memory of Serpent Stalker's Trickery. And I've just written some comments on why I think this is good. So our rotation in particular, we're trying to get trick shots, which means um, using volley or scatter shot, and then using our aim shot or our rapid fire. Um, this one's going to be effective when you're using your aim shot with that volley or scatter shot, because it's going to apply your, this serpent sting to up to five targets other than the primary target. Um, so at the moment, Serpent Sting scales with attack power, so 16.5% initial attack power damage plus 99% attack power over 18 seconds. So currently at my item level, which is 168, the uh, nature damage is 242 initial and then 1618 over 18 seconds. And so on six targets, that's an additional 1100, 160 additional damage over the 18 seconds or an additional 620 DPS passively or 105 additional DPS single target. Um, that's really good. Like if you consider, like when I run a Mythic, for example, I'm pulling uh, roughly 3K over the, the whole run on average. So to be able to boost that up to potentially 3,600, obviously it's not going to be um, perfectly stacked the whole way through where you're getting six targets always dotted with your Serpent Sting. But you're going to probably see uh, over a whole run a, a DPS increase of about 200. So I might do like 3.2k, which is really good additional passive damage. And that's only going to climb up higher the higher my item level is, the higher the attack power is. And it's all passive, so I don't um, need to do anything to get that extra DPS in my rotation that I'm already doing. Uh, next, we're going to move on to the second choice, Surging Shots. 
So rapid fire deals 25% additional damage and aim shot has a 15% chance to reset the cooldown of rapid fire. So once again, coming back to our rotation using that volley, rapid fire or scatter shot, um, rapid fire, which is going to apply the rapid fire up to uh, five targets other than the primary target at half the initial damage. And so at item level 168, my rapid fire hits 4091 and with a 25% increase, it will hit 5113 over the 1.8 seconds, which is 1022 additional damage single target every 20 seconds or 51 DPS or 179 DPS in a six target situation. So this isn't including the 15% chance that the aim shot resets the cooldown of rapid fire and you could expect um, that aim shot because it's on an 11 second cooldown it should um, reset it approximately every minute um, depending on your RNG of course. So the third one I think the main reason I've put this is because I think I don't really know how this is going to perform exactly, but one of the problems Hunter sort of has is when we use our true shot ability, we get focus starved because we're not able to use precise shots. So um, this, this legendary will help address that issue. So basically you'll find that if you use true shot and precise shots procs, you will not be able to utilize every aim shot off of cooldown due to focus starving. So this talent will sort of work around that, um, allowing you to keep, uh, when you pop your true shot, you can go scatter shot, aim shot, scatter shot, aim shot, scatter shot, rapid fire, scatter shot, aim shot, just keep going back, 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 back and forth. And that's going to be really, really, really high DPS. At the moment, if you, uh, you go scatter shot, aim shot, scatter shot, aim shot, um, scatter shot rapid fire and you're probably going to start finding that you can't scatter shot again unless you steady shot to to get that um, focus back up and so you're missing out on the true shot duration being able to just maximize that dps i'm not exactly sure how much this is going to uh, affect the dps it'll have to do some testing once um, in game we actually have the legendaries but I've just put this as, as third because I think it, it could actually end up being quite good. Um, but that pretty much concludes it. Thanks, Maladin, for the comment. I do appreciate uh, your suggestions. Um, thanks, everyone, for their comments and support. My last video, it um, performed very well, um, more than I was expecting, which is a really nice surprise for me. Um, just trying to build my channel at the moment, so I do appreciate the support, the likes, and the sub subscribes. So if you do want to see more of my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And um, as always, enjoy, enjoy your day. I hope you're enjoying Marksman Hunter. I hope you've learned something from this video. Peace.